Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this LED racing game. It's a two player game where you press a button to make two LEDs move along a strip. You're going to be green. A fun game. LED racer here. I'm going to let go. When you let go, it has some resistance and then they just slowly will go and stop. The inspiration for this was I wanted to make a display board for my computer science classroom. So I thought if I had a little game for the students to play, they could race and also display some of the pictures of the computer science uh, competitions and students work outside my classroom. Here's a schematic of the design. It's very simplistic. It does use uses a WS2812B 5 volt LED strips, uh, 1K ohm resistor, three LEDs, two push buttons, and a speaker. So it's back to the design process and let's get it uh, programmed with some LED strips. Just have to make it so that it will increment every time I press the red button. That's a, it's just a simple switch. Okay. So here I have um, connected to a digital pin here, and so that when I push the button, you can see it can detect it. Here I have the button, and so when I click, the LED will move. So I finished my prototype using the Arduino Nano and now I'm going to use the Arduino Uno and I have my LED strip and the buttons working and I'm, I'm going to be building the frame to hold everything. The reason why I used I I'm using the Uno Arduino Uno is it already has a power jack on it. So here's the design. I've um, built it in Google SketchUp. It says ready, set, go. It has these little holes for the LEDs, red, yellow, and green. And then these are the holes for the button. And it should just fold up into a type of box, something like that. So all I have to do is laser cut it and import the file. And you wanna make sure that you link the line for the laser cutter. And I'm just going to apply the laser speed 100% at 20. So we got the laser cutter here and the wood is three millimeter. So we have the base plate and then kind of Shows you that it's an LED racer game by Mr. Newson. And then what we're going to do is we have the side plates. So they're going to stick in here like so. And then that is going to... Just give the room for my Arduino to slip in there. Then we can put it on the side plates, the end plate. Reset go plate. It on like so. 
Other thing that I have to check out is the height of this button. So this can come off and it has this little clip here. And that fits through right here. This can tighten on and then this clips on there. Let's check these LED holes right here. These holes are a little bit small. Uh, to fix these holes, I'm just going to drill the metal a little bit. And now they can fit in okay. And then we're just going to have a common ground here. So that's going to be the LEDs. So I just need to extend this connector. So I've unraveled the LED strip. For this, I'm going to cut it here. And I just need this connector so that I can extend the power to the LED strip. And then I just need three wires that will come to my board here. So my only concern with this idea is the traces on this board are very small. So this is five volts here and it's going to this pin, which I'm going to use. Um, now this power jack the positive voltage goes here, and it has a quite thick uh, trace there. That should be okay for several amps. And it goes to this uh, protection diode, so that if you put the reverse polarity, it doesn't fry your board, it'll fry this diode. But um, I'm gonna be bypassing that, and I'm going to feed a wire. And I could feed it right to these positive five volt pins, but you'll notice that this trace right here is super thin and I don't think it's gonna be able to pass too much current through that. And so I want to get right to this header pin right here. So I'm gonna get a thicker wire to solder from here to right here, and that will just allow the five volts to power my LED strip. And that's gonna save me from having um, too many wires, I just need three. And that, will, and that will be the header pin that is plug it right in there. Okay. Perfect. So the current now is going to flow right up through that pin and that pin should be able to carry at least an amp just like so. So I'm going to be soldering on the LEDs. The short leg is going to the left. So this is going to be a common ground and then we have the positive uh, 
um, wires are going to go to these header pins here. So we're going to solder them. Okay, we're going to put a blob of hot glue just so that these guys don't come out. So, if you laser cut the hole correctly, you wouldn't have to do that step. Then I have like a 1K ohm resistor because I'm only going to have one of these LEDs on at the same time. So I'm going to solder that on like so. And I'm going to use the other resistor wire here to solder on that. For my reference, the yellow wire is going to be common ground. The blue wire is going to be the red LED. The yellow one is going to be the green wire. And the purple wire is going to be green. We'll be able to just go into the headers on my controller. Now I'm going to be joining two LED strips together. So I have two reels. Um, one reel is five meters. Just make sure that you get the arrows pointing in the same direction. So that arrow is going up and this arrow is going up and I need to solder those two guys together. So the circuitry what I have is the two push buttons are digital pins uh, four and five. The LED pins are using A5, four, and three. The speaker, the positive is going to A0 and the negative is going to ground. It just makes it so I can just slip it in there so that you can save on uh, some wires. And then this is the ground pin right here. For the LED strip, I have a wire that's going to my LED strip. It's just using ground, the ISP header pin and grounds to the right there. And on the back, you can see I have my jumper wire there. So that's the basic setup. A little bit of glue on the base here. So we can plug in the board. Let's just verify that it can power up here. She's good. Corners. And then now all you have to do is take the LED strips and take off the double-sided tape and put it around uh, the window frame or your display board. And I use a little bit of folding uh, to get it around the corners. So here I have the LED strip going around. I have my display right here about um, some of the competitions that we do. And then uh, some of the computer terminology and some of the students work there. And here it is. This is the LED racer game. It says ready, set, go. And then you have two buttons where you race. It's just going to an addressable LED strip around there. When it's not being raced, it just looks nice, like a um, rainbow effect. 
and I have it charged using a five volt uh, battery charger that this goes into the Arduino down there. Okay, let's start. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was uh, interesting and that uh, you could get some ideas to put for your classroom display. Uh, computer science has many applications and this is one way just to show the students how um, arrays can be used and get them interesting, interested in, in computer science. If you like electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day.